Hey guys, Tyler here. I'm out at Learburg this week filming for my upcoming Obedience Foundations course. And I just wanted to take a minute to share with you a tip that many of my dog training clients find really useful. One of the major challenges that families have when they're working with their dogs in their home is finding the ability to maintain consistency in both motivating their dogs and rewarding their dogs. Most people don't really want to have dog treats or dog food in their pockets all the time. And we often find that although um, you can have bait bags and treat pouches, that people regularly forget to grab those things or to restock them. And so what often winds up happening is um, commands are given and we don't have the ability to motivate the dog, or if the dog does perform the command, we don't have the ability to uh, consistently reinforce the behavior. And so over time, this sort of erodes the dog's willingness to comply and really undermines the training that we're trying to accomplish. So I have a strategy that I put in place that really makes this far easier, and it's something that I call food caching. And it's really easy to do. Essentially, all I recommend that people do is go to the store and get some small jars. Usually we recommend using the, um, the ball jars that people use for canning or preserving um, fruits and vegetables. And these often can come with a screw top lid that's either plastic or metal. I actually really like the metal ones um, because I like the fact that it makes a little bit of a noise when you unscrew it because that can act in a, uh, as a little bit of a conditioned reinforcer or an attention getter if you need it. And so what we do is we get a few of these uh, jars and we fill them with food and we stash them in different areas around the house. We try and put them in the main areas that we often are with our dogs and that we often um, ask for obedience behaviors. These jars are nice because not only will they keep any treats or food that you're using fresh, if it is the kind of thing that can dry out, but they also really seal in the scent. So when you're not using them, the dogs aren't pestering with the jars or staying overly focused on them. But you will always have some food or treats present no matter where you are in your house so that if you need to ask your dog for an obedience behavior, you can easily motivate them or reward them when they comply. Some common areas of the house that I often recommend keeping um, treats stashed in jars are near doorways. So if we often um, ask our dogs to be polite around doorways or we want to make sure that we can recall our dogs back in from the backyard, having a good stash of treats right near the door is very useful. Um, in your living area, um, in your kitchen, if you allow your dogs in your bedroom, then you may want to put some there. And then of course, if you have an office or any other area where you normally hang out with your dog, then that's a good idea as well. You can have as many of these jars stashed around your house as you want to. And this is really going to help to ensure that you can be consistent during the early foundational stages of your training, when consistency of motivation and reward is so crucial to the success of your overall training program.